In this video, we are going to solve inverse Laplace transform of a spectrum by using time shifting property. In the previous class, we found the Laplace transform of a signal by using time shifting property. This same time shifting property can be used to get inverse Laplace transform also. How that is that we will see here. So, find inverse Laplace transform of z of s is equal to e power minus 2s by s plus 1 into s plus 2. This is the transform given. How we need to consider inverse Laplace transform? Actually, if your signal is in proper way, then definitely you can go for inverse Laplace transform. That means, here you are having separately, your denominator is not having any uh, multiplication, then definitely you can use e power minus 2s by s plus 1 like that. Or if you do not know time shifting property, definitely you need to go for normal equation of inverse Laplace transform that is inverse Laplace of x of s is equal to x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi j. This is the equation. Actually, what is the inverse Laplace transform of z of s means? So, always inverse Laplace transform is equal to z of t. This is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2 pi j integral minus infinity to infinity and you are going to get z of s into e power s t ds. This is inverse Laplace transform equation. But by using this equation we need to substitute that z of s here and we need to do this uh, total process nearly that will take 30 to 40 minutes to calculate. If you are not strong with integrations and differentiations that will nearly consume 30 to 40 minutes. How we need to solve the same problem within 1 minute by using properties of Laplace transform means. So, here I want to use my time shifting property. What time shifting property is stating if x of t this is time shifting property. So, here if x of t is having Laplace transform x of s then time shifting property states that if we delayed this signal input signal x of t and if you consider Laplace transform that Laplace transform is going to change like e power minus st naught into x of s. So, here I am imagining like this z of s is a shifted transform. I want to imagine like this. This z of s I want to imagine like this. Then I will get some signal equivalent to that. Why? Because I am having e power minus st naught form and I am having some s domain here that I can take as x of s. So, see here I am writing like this z of s is equal to e power minus 2s into x of s. I want to write this like this. Let z of s equal to e power minus 2s into x of s. Where x of s is equal to where x of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2. If you consider partial fractions you can separate it like this 1 by s plus 2. So, you can see s plus 2 minus s plus 1. s plus 2 minus s plus 1 means you are going to get 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 only. So, by taking partial fractions you are going to get 1 by s plus 1 into 1 by s plus 2. This is your x of s. So, this is x of s. If you consider inverse Laplace transform of this x of s then you are going to get x of t. So, inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus 1 is you know when we will get 1 by s plus 1. 1 by s plus value means e power minus t u of t. This is e power minus t u of t. So, whenever in t domain you are having e power minus then s domain you will get plus. So, in standard Laplace, trans, Laplace transform pairs also I given these relations minus here also 1 by s plus 2 inverse of 1 by s plus 2 is e power minus 2t u of t. So, we got x of t, but we do not want x of t. We got x of t, that means we got inverse Laplace transform, but only one part of our given signal or spectrum got inverse Laplace transform. 
but we want this total signal to be transformed into time domain. So here I want to apply this property here. We have x of s. From this we found x of t. So from this we, we have x of s. We have knowledge of x of s from the given value. And from this we found this x of t. And here they given this one. Shifted transform they given. Now we need to find out this. That means finally I want to consider like this. So if e power minus st naught x of s is the frequency domain then time domain will be signal name is z z of s minus so here you are having 2 s minus 2 z of s minus 2 will be its time domain signal so here you are having x of s is equivalent to like this and x of t is equivalent to like this if x of t is equivalent to this then you are going to get your z of s minus 2 by substituting t is equivalent to s minus 2 t is equivalent to so here t minus 2 not s minus 2 this is t minus 2 why because you can see for example if you are having for x of t and you are having x of s and for x of t minus t naught x of t minus 2 what you are getting actually so e power minus 2s into x of s you can see by using this property that e power minus 2s into x of s I am having they are asking what is this side this side this z of s is equal to x of t minus 2 we know x of t we found x of t by the knowledge of x of s we found x of t. So, here z of s is equal to x of t minus 2 by this knowledge. So, I am just substituting z of s inverse Laplace transform of z of s is equal to x of t minus 2. So, already we know x of t. So, in that we need to substitute. So, minus t minus 2 in place of t you need to substitute t minus 2 u of t minus 2 minus e power minus 2 into t minus 2 u of t minus 2 in some exams they will give like this minus t minus 2 minus e power minus 2 t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 like this they will give. So here what we done is we consider this one here so we separated x of s and we found x of t and we are taking the value time domain equivalent to this one that is nothing but z of s. So that means inverse Laplace transform of z of s is equivalent to x of t minus 2. That x of t minus 2 we are substituting in x of t signal then we are going to get the inverse Laplace transform of z of s you can see just we are doing separation substitution so only two processes we are doing if you know time shifting property we can apply this like this to solve inverse Laplace transform also 